Software distribution has two primary models, the forced model and the self-service kiosk model. In the first model, we have a group of devices assigned to students, and we're creating a file set from a folder. This folder contains tutorials for the students. We can move the folder into the All Users location, a special folder and file wave that copies its contents to every user logging into a device. You can edit the properties of the folder and files, as well as set the system requirements for distribution. We're also adding a file set of podcasts to go to the student group. The file sets can be associated with different groups and can be activated, deactivated, deleted, and converted to kiosk file sets as needed. For the second model, we are creating a file set for a group of users to download on demand using the self-service kiosk. This file set is based on a new iTunes file set where we can select non-DRM content from our iTunes library to share. Once we have selected the items to go into our file set, we will set the properties to allow the content to be ignored by future changes and only overwrite files if the existing ones are older. This is done for iTunes content because we can't tell where our users may move the items once they are inside of their iTunes library. The file set is associated with the group and configured as a kiosk item. Now you'll update the server model and kick all the changes into effect. Let's see how this looks at the client. The user opens the kiosk, installs the file set, and when they open iTunes, the podcasts are there waiting for them. In other environments, these files would have to be part of a custom image for the student group. Using FileWave's file set technology, you can create as many custom groups as you need and distribute needed applications and files to those groups separate of the imaging process.